What's up everybody, welcome back. Another episode of BS for Build. Today is a really exciting day for me. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna build a transmission support. We're gonna finish the front strut towers. Once we do that, I'm not 100% sure, but we might be able to drop the car onto its own wheels. My other car that I just bought is getting delivered today. I'm just super amped. This is gonna be a good day. Don't miss this one, stay tuned. We're taking care of our errands in the Z today. First, we got a um, 2000 shot of nitrous we gotta get refilled. Or a good old argon, 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 argon tank for TIG welding. Um, I also have modified the Z and I, I would be remiss if I didn't include you guys in my journey with working on the Z. Um, I wanted cruise control, so I bought a blown out airbag thing because it comes with these controls and I zip tied the airbag hole shut and installed it. Oh, I also have a horn now. Not if you press right there though, you gotta press. Anyways, I have a horn now. So obviously we need more gas and we need more steel. That's B is for builds renewable resources that aren't renewable. Are they renewable? Yeah, steel's renewable because when you're done, people melt it down and you buy more. Anyways, let's go get them. Great news, we got more gas. Post Malone landed just fine. We're at the metal supply store. Let's get some metal and get back to the shop. Back in the shop and I got all my steel out. This steel is gonna be used for some uh, further reinforcement that I'm gonna do around the rear differential. Uh, this steel is what we're gonna be building our bracket out of. This is our gusseting uh, sheet metal that we're gonna use for gussets around the roll cage. And this is also um, some quarter inch thick uh, flat bar that we're gonna use uh, to build brackets for this stuff. So I'm gonna get started on building the part that holds the bottom of the transmission on the transmission mounts, the rubber pieces. I'm emulating this right here. It's actually exactly what I'm gonna go off and build. So it um, angles down, then goes flat, and it angles back up. And I need to match these angles exactly because that's the angle that the transmission mount actually sits on. So it can't be, can't be, at, an unhappy, can't be at an unhappy angle. So I'm gonna go off and build that piece right now. And then we can see about the straight across piece. All right, we got our parts cut up. So this is replacing this, essentially, this, this section right here. Uh, I measured the angles from the inside. Oh, I broke it. I measured the angles from the inside, not the outside, so it might look a little bit different. But yeah, these three pieces, once they're all cleaned up and welded together, are going to emulate the landing spot for the mounting bushings that are right there. So I'm gonna weld those. Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, Eric is going to uh, get started redoing the uh, tube that he made an accident on yesterday. All right, so I just finished up uh, welding and grinding on my cross member piece. The next step for me is to jump down there and uh, we're replacing the transmission mount bushings. So we got new uh, ones of those. I'm gonna throw the new ones in and then I'm gonna kind of slap this thing up there and figure out where the holes go and drill the holes out of here so we can actually bolt the bushings to this thing. Just get that out of the way before I build the cross member. Um, while I was working on this, Eric actually did jump in and weld our second leg to our transmission. That one was uh, snapped off and hanging in the car when we got this car delivered. It was kind of a bummer. Um, but we're working with what we got here. So we welded it back on uh, to the transmission and Eric also um, bent the first part of his pipe and coped it really fast. Uh, we saved so much time with the coping tool, it just immediately came together. So now Eric, this time, you know, it's just like, it's a 90 degree difference, just, or no difference, I don't one know. One slight rotation. Yeah, right. one slight rotation, Eric. So All right, Eric got this second bar in here and he's telling me it is time to weld. He's gonna go ahead and TIG weld the fronts of these up and then he's gonna MIG weld the backs of the, those up. They don't need to look as pretty because they're gonna be covered by the firewall. So enjoy the welding.
Okay, so I got my piece drilled out here and uh, the bigger holes on the back side, these are access ports and these slotted holes on the front, those are where the thing uh, sticks through. They had to be slotted for a little bit of adjustability because the transmission's at a bit of a tilt. Uh, you know that because we offset the engine, but we were trying to straighten up the transmission. It's a really small tilt, but it's at a bit of a tilt. And we got the new bushings on there now. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is build the pieces that connect to here and go straight into the frame. And then from there, we'll build a bracket to uh, hold them onto the frame. Now, Eric over here has done some really fantastic welding. This is uh, the result of his welding around there. And then we MIG welded on the back, and that's the same on both these sides, as well as MIG welded in the front. So all of these tubes are on here uh, permanently. Now the next piece, kind of, um, it's to uh, triangulate this and add, you know, stiffness through here. And it's kind of like, it kind of makes like a rotor shape, like symbol. It's a, we're using a piece of a 90 degree bend, it's gonna come off of here and kind of bend into here. It's supposed to look like a little organic, a little bit fun and, uh, and cool and look really cool. So it's gonna come from here off to here and Eric's gonna build that on both sides. I did wanna mention somebody, uh, sent me in a drawing and say, well, here's how you could not cover the engine um, and have this bar basically bending more and coming back straight. The reason that, uh, one of these reasons that these are so wide is as you move those bars closer, uh, they're gonna help stabilize the front section, but also we need a 14 inch section from here to here to hold the brake booster on this side and to hold the ECU and computer box on that side. So it's something that's kind of calculated space that we needed to have. Um, and so that's another reason why. But pulling this engine out should be absolutely no problem. You can see that the bar really only covers like maybe a quarter inch of the engine on that side and a little bit of a quarter inch on the engine of that side. So it's really, really no problem. Just pull it forward a little bit and then just pull it on out just like we always have. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna be working on the cr uh, trans cross and he's gonna be working on this. Just finished welding up the, uh, the transmission mount. This is the cross member that goes across from frame rail to frame rail. Uh, it's nice, it's sturdy. I can jump up and down on it, hoverboard it, it's awesome. That's good. While I was doing that, Eric bent, coped, and cut these babies. Well, they were already bent, but, um, and they're TIG welded in there, and they look super, super good. They're super close uh, matching on both sides. And when you get back, it just looks really, really good. This is, this is definitely what we were going for. So uh, once, you know, once that jig is out of there and it's just holding suspension, it's gonna look super, super cool. So uh, two things are gonna happen right now. I'm gonna build a bracket inside here. Uh, I'm gonna cut metal for a bracket inside here that holds that cross member. So basically we're gonna build a bracket right here that a bolt slides through to hold the transmission cross member into the car. And then when we uh, we need to take it out, you go ahead and slide the bolt out. That'll drop the cross member and uh, drop the transmission out of the car. Fancy way of doing that, super low tech. And while I do that, um, Eric is gonna be working on TIG welding these up.
All right, I got the brackets all cut out. Those don't look like brackets quite yet, but they will turn into brackets uh, beneath your eyes. Um, and Eric did all the hard work up there, which I will show you in one second. So the way that this is gonna go, our next step is, so this guy goes under the transmission right here and basically goes from that side to that side. But it has to be removable so we can't just weld it in. So Eric is going to weld in these little quarter inch steel brackets right there and there. So they kind of have a flat spot and then they angle down. And then we drill a hole in that and through our transmission mount and we'll sink a bolt right through both sides of that and on there and there. That way when we need to remove the transmission and the transmission mount, we just take that bolt off and this thing slides out and down. So we're gonna go ahead and weld that up right now. Let me show you this fancy TIG welding. So this is our, I don't know what you'd call it, our closing thing that builds in this little pocket. And uh, it looks sexy. And did a great job over here as well. Woo! And it's still hot. <laughs> this is this all looks really, really good. It's kind of a shame that we have to paint over it, but um, we're gonna leave, obviously, we're not gonna like put any body filler or anything, so it'll look really, really good uh, with paint over it. The next step that we're gonna have to do tomorrow, because we're running out of time tonight, is that we put a plate inside here that Eric will weld all the way around, which is really gonna like finish it off. And we'll transfer all these holes as well for the strut tower to go in there. And that'll look really, really cool. Okay, we're gonna weld these brackets and the transmission support in right now. All right, the welding part is done. So you can see that these, these are now brackets. Before they were just pieces of metal that I had cut into triangles, weird triangles. Now they're brackets. So tomorrow I'll drill a hole in those and we'll send a bolt through those and through this, this guy right here. Put a nut on the other side. I wanna buy a good grade eight bolt too that'll go through here. So that'll be awesome. And then the trans mount is done. All right guys, well that is the end of a very, very productive day. I realize it's not quite a roller yet. That was the game plan. Oh man, but taking delivery of the new car, that, that was tough, like that, <laughs> that was a journey. But tomorrow, uh, we are gonna have it on its own feet. We're gonna put it on the stock M5 suspension, so it's gonna sit a little higher than it ever would. We're gonna put it on some weird BMW wheels that came with the M5, so it's gonna sit on the wrong wheels with the wrong offsets. But it's gonna sit on its own suspension, on its own feet for the first time ever, tomorrow, I guarantee it. Unless like something catastrophic happens. Like I said, we took delivery of the car. I did, we didn't even really take a break and do an interruption because I'm not gonna film it because I'm not you know, unveiling what it is quite yet, but we took delivery of the car. It was hilarious because it was at the top of a 15 car loader and the guy calls me, he says, hey, you know, it doesn't have any brakes. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll figure it out. I get there, it like physically doesn't have brakes. It doesn't have rotors, it doesn't have calipers, it doesn't have brakes. So we laughed and then we had to figure out a very safe way to bring it down and not pull like a Mercedes through the garage door thing. But this was like, quarter mile away because you can't pull into my shop driveway. The trailer's too big. So then we got it down, <laughs> we got it down, but we couldn't stop the car. So what we did was we uh, deflated all of the tires and then we pulled it with Eric's truck. And when you deflate all the tires on a car, it doesn't, it like, they stop pretty quickly. So that was hilarious. And we pulled it like, you know, a quarter mile down the road, got it to the shop. It's here safely. I want to give you guys some hints about it. The one hint that I thought up is that if I gave you like a solid, solid hint, it would totally give it away what the car was. The other thing that I will say though, is that no other YouTuber that like I know of that's in my circle, like I have mentioned, you know, in videos past or whatever that I hang out with, um, or that I even know of, uh, has either rebuilt one of these. I mean, th this car is damaged. I bought it at auction, it's damaged. No one's rebuilt one of these and no one's heavily modified one of these. So it's gonna be a first uh, for at least in my circle. So I'm really, really excited to do that. And that's gonna happen right after this build. So it's the next build. Another thing that I'm gonna give you a hint is it's a more modern car. It's not a classic um, like this because uh, I was gonna do this and then I was gonna do the Camaro and then I was like, well, how long are we gonna work on old cars? Like, let's work on something new. And I really, really love this car and I can't wait to have it. So, you know. Shout out to the Twitch family. Those guys helped me find this thing at auction. It's craziness and I'm so happy it's here now. It's like a dream come true. So that's awesome. Um, that's it guys. Tomorrow this car is a roller. Huge milestone coming up for this build. I just want to thank everybody that's been watching this far. I hope everybody watches tomorrow. It's going to be an exciting moment. I'll see you guys then.